Welcome to another special episode of Tea with Tay. Guys, I'm so sorry I, I could not drop an episode last week. The devil tried me. I was in the hospital, but come back stronger with a fantastic guest, right? And this episode and this season is sponsored proudly by Lipton. Shout out to Lipton. Please put your hands together for Lipton. They've been great with this sponsorship. Bella Shmoda, why are you late to my set? Ah. Uh. What be here? I'm a big man. Now. I I know that you are, <laughs> but I'm waiting for you. I'm a big uh, man too. Yeah, definitely. You know, I wake up around twelve. You know, just yeah. for my own mental health. Just to, Ooh, you know, just to chill and you know think mm. about my life all again. And it's yeah. true. The day activities before I go into anything. Mm. You no, know, say artists so, not supposed to wake before like twelve. Mm. Yeah. Even see with they not supposed to wake. Like, I know, before, not the week before. No, not ten at the week. You know. <laughs> At least, you know, so we get hierarchy for. Ah, uh, okay, so. we supposed to wake. I'm sorry, bro. I'm here for you. Okay, welcome. Yeah. So, what were you doing through the night that you didn't wake up on time? Ah, uh, I was watching movies. I have to chill. My album is out, so I'm just. Oh, okay, I'm so. Just chilling. You and, don't do the hard work, so. Yeah, you just watch time to bad on. What did you watch yesterday night? Ah, uh, they wash clothes. They wash plates. Or they wash. I see which which film did you watch yesterday night? <laughs> uh, you never watch the film where be clothes. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Clothes to season one, clothes to season two. No, not plates. Plates by Kemi Akiba. <laughs> <Really. laughs> uh, Welcome my to brother, my show. Yeah. Um, I've wanted to speak with you. I mean, I know that you have a very interesting personality. I've always wanted to speak with you, and I'm happy that you're on my show. Please put your hands together for Bella Shmoda. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, I know that you grew up in Okoko, right? Mm-hmm. Please tell me the earliest memory of growing of Okoko, growing up in Okoko, what you remember? What do I remember? I remember me struggling. I remember me going to school, mm. uh, trying to make ends meet at the same time. Mm. I remember meeting funny friends and crazy friends, you know. I remember me trying to choose who I want to be. You understand? And I remember I'm still from there. <laughs> you understand? That's amazing. Yo, mama and I had mistress. Mm-hmm. Oh. Was it? Now, did, did you go to her school? Yeah, Lasso Staff School. She's the teacher of Lasso Staff School, the oh. primary school. So, I went to the school. I still went to the university. What was it like having your mom as the headmistress of the school? You know, they usually mm-hmm. say like mm-hmm. pastors' kids, teachers' mm-hmm. kids are always the most mm-hmm. problematic. Mm-hmm. So, were you like problematic? Did your mom even allow you to be problematic? She didn't allow me to be problematic. I, 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 I could not be myself. But because any time I fuck up. Even your mates will tell you, I'm going to tell your mommy. Ah. You understand? Ah, my mommy, okay, you won't cover my life. <laughs> oh, she did, oh, she could just change her for you, flog you for the school. Change her, mom. She didn't change her anywhere, change her, boy. Even on the assembly. Don't see her mad. Ah. He did not wash his clothes. My mama go disgrace me. See, I don't wash my screen in form. But not be tough when I come up for the same house. Nah, so if she don't go talk, oh. she, she go there and say, she know if you wash clothes for you. So if you don't wash her, she go, they look you. Be like, ah, I show you more. You know. Now school, she go discipline you. For front of your friends, now they go not say not true. Your clothes clean. You know that's where we say natural. Okay, but naturally you, you be small picking and you go this stubborn, you go want to play with your mates. Yeah, I wasn't that stubborn though. But I know just no book. Eh? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by no book? Ah, uh, like you know, I was not doing well mm. educationally, but I was intelligent. You understand? I was dark. Like that. street smart. Yeah, street smart, but. When you come to say, "Mo, they do all this English, eh? Hey, for a poor, oh, more, you know, if you see me there." <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but your mama a teacher. Yes, now you know my mama no be, be teacher. No, me say I go get knowledge now. Yeah, you understand? It's it's not it's not in the same line. As you know, books must. What what did you not focus your energy on? Was it music at the time? Yeah, I was I was I was I was band prefect when really, I was in primary five. Uh-huh. I was music prefect in primary six. So that music has always been me. Mm. And that, you know, I was kind of sporty too. You know, I'd be one and one and one, I'd be one up and down. Yeah, you understand. In school, when it comes to inter sports, no worry, we get squad. Which they know us. At the day, blue house, mm. green house. Ah, but the day, well, the green house, now they are carillas. So your mom allowed you to be like a singer in school, you were leading the band. Were you mm-hmm. singing vocally or just playing in the band? I was playing with the band. I can also, I, I used to play flute too. Mm hmm. My school all used to have this um um violin. I used mm-hmm. to play, so I was I was kind of good in music, in current affairs, you know, some kind 
alternative subjects that it's not necessary you carry first for the yes. but I mean they carry first for the but the good ones gone gone. No worry. Subject like current affairs. Yeah. Home economics. Is it home economics? I don't know. That one for food though. Mm. I the carry first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you know they cook. <laughs> yeah, we used to cook though. Mm. We used to have this woman that used to cook and it's good. Tell it's me about better. Lasso. What was life like in Lasso? Ah, uh, life in Lasso was was sweet and corny and you know, mm. it was more of like. It's not about the education anymore when you get to the university. Really? Yeah. It's about how smart you have always been and you should continue it. Please explain this to me. Talk to. Okay. Um, in university, do you know it's not by... Book smart from, book smart. from, from yeah, secondary, secondary school. school. Yeah. It's not about book smart. Yeah. And you get a lot of influence. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of... Um, um, you see a lot of things. You get more exposed. Yes. So now you are not just dealing with your intelligence. You are dealing to with dealing with your environment. Mm. Um, you are dealing with people. people, more people. Interacting. You, are, you are you are interacting. You are dealing with upper knowledge. Mm. So is it, what you are making from secondary school is different. Mm. So you have to you yourself. You have to be personally as in personally be smart as in know what you are doing. Mm-hmm. It's not about the book again, because you meet thousands of people that are more intelligent than you, and your your lecturer is not even ready to mark any book. You just look your name. Okay, this one name sweet. Mm. F one five. This one name ah I got for you. F one two. This one name I've been bola jubi. I got F one three. You know so it be in public universities it's so funny like it's that. Crazy, and some yeah. nature won't even like you for nothing like. Yeah. You understand? And it's like even if, even if like you have a history of not coming mm. up coming well yeah. or doing well, you mm. just ah this one what you write today yeah. You know, you know even in university now is is. Especially in my own department, it's like what department were you in? I was in history and international relations. I was in history and strategic studies. Oh yeah. my God! Like then to understand what you're yeah. saying, not be by yeah. I don't... So it's like you want to do an exam, not be by point two. You guys guide that book full. Me you plenty. Go full, write rubbish. Me, just guide the rubbish. Me plenty. So, if they look and they see your name for they see say you reach end. Then, hey. mm. Now you're acting smart. Not be by book when you know again. So, but you know, say history. That's you know history. You have to cram the dates and the. The names of the histor- historical people, Sha. Any other thing you're writing might not be corresponding, but those dates, mm. those, you know, those events, places, it mm. has to be. Now, what did they check with that? Yes, yes, not true. I remember, see, that's how we had the history. Eh? I know they have had this school, a good, good model, they mm-hmm. jump up and down. Mm-hmm. So, once I come back, I will just cram the major dates. dates. So, from the introduction, I will just pack many dates back, for back, them. Back, back, back. That middle now. Any room, I know. I write, write rubbish. That's day clean. Yes. That's fine. You know, it's just it's not about intelligence. Like it's not about because you being book smart again. Mm. It's about street smart. And just yes, able to it's about because you you being able to interact. Ah, uh, uh, baba, beg, I know this school yet. <laughs> you know the way you yeah. relate with people matters a lot. Yeah, I remember that because I'm I'm thinking because most of the A Y guests are just the ones that say, "Where did this A come from?" You won't get here. <laughs> What did you do? What did you get for your own time? And they get, they get. You shall, you shall you pass. Get. Mm. <laughs> no, but what was it like combining the music and the, your studies? Because I imagine that by the time that you were in school, you were already getting a bit popular. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I was popular, popular on the streets of Okoko when I was in school. Mm-hmm. You understand that? You know, sometimes I have to leave lecture room to studio, like or two. If I have lecture by seven, if I don't do that seven. It's done for today. I'm going to the studio. If not for anything, just day day. I should be seeing instrument. I should know, you know. You are seeing your future. You know what you really want to do. And, you know, it's paid off, actually. But, you know. Weren't you worried that it was such a big risk to take? Because, I mean, you go, what, when I was doing modeling you know, and school. Yeah, you know, um, to something you love, mm. you hardly call something risk. This thing you are doing, this podcast, I might not come. Mm. It's no risk to you. Mm. It's something you love to do. And if it's, mm. it's, I didn't come here, it's one of those things that will always happen. You understand? That's how I took it. Even if it was risky, it's something I really want to do with my life. Mm. So I don't mind the consequences. Mm. You know, I'm over the consequences already. Now I'm looking at the positive side. And that's what brought me here. You understand? Makes sense. So all the times I left school, all the times I wasn't available for, you know, other things, just for the music. I was mm. just looking at the positive side. There are consequences I faced, um, consequences I'm still facing. But at the same time, I'm focused on that positive side and, mm. you know, um, I'm getting a little trigger to do more. And I will do it. Well, I mean, I'm saying, when you, weren't you worried? Okay, what if the music didn't work and you didn't get good grades eventually? What if you focused on music too much and then ended up not 
getting a certificate? Uh, what would your mom have said? What what with your mom they always talk about your doing music because yeah, obviously she's, she's a teacher. She, one thing she always told me like even the white hair come on. See, me pale lowo. Only dollar kone ko wa je shiama. Kone ko wa je oba ilu yin. Kone ki lo ve lo kule. Go fine, you know. Mm. I have my I have everything I have now. Yeah, thank you. It's God. fine. And the mama feel me job alu. Yeah. Fine. There's a popular story about you and Pukuli being friends mm-hmm. in like last yeah, year. Yeah, in last yeah. year Pukuli. Did you meet him in last year or were you guys already friends? I've or? always known him from Ojo, but we are not that close like there's no that, you know, that brotherhood yeah. thing as in that brotherly thing and you know. Mm-hmm. Um we met in last year and you know on occasionally we started meeting as our school shows and some parts where he helped me to perform, where he supported me, was like, Bella, I've done everything your name for people mm. to perform. I say, no, let's see, yeah, come on, let me write your name. He now organized that. <laughs> yeah, it's part of like, you know, the few popular ones mm-hmm. in school who are into it, you know, and you, know, you have to connect with them. But me, I'm this kind of like, to some extent, I'm an introvert. I don't like to the, just the approach anybody, and you know, they look, you see, you know, make you get this vibe. Say, I did my day, you did your day. Mm-hmm. That's my kind of vibe. I don't rush into anybody or try to, like, you know, because you can help me. Or, yeah. or you understand, I will not try to take advantage of the fact that we are. I'm seeing you make a just rush, you bro, more take picture, bro, more shake, bro, shake. Mm-hmm. No, I don't do that. If it will come, it will come easily. It's, it's, it's nature. Mm-hmm. Nature will speak for itself. So, regardless, we met, we became friends and all of these things. We started meeting at different places and I noticed that he liked me and I like his vibe too. Mm. So when I did um, Visual 2020, yeah. he heard the song and he was like, Bella, more do viral for this thing, uh, viral video. Even you don't get money, call any of your boys, me carry phone, come, just shoot or so. That was when I was like, I thought about it. I was like, okay. I asked him, sure you go post me? He said, yes, you will post. Oh, so you, by the time we don't do the divisions, you never yeah. have to do video for him. I never do any video. They just a year for my school. And you know, Ooh. I'm I'm kind of popular in school, mm. especially in my department, right. in my faculty. Yeah. They know say this boy servicing. Mm. So, you know, you know, it's like this music is like connection. Yes. If you know, they will just post for WhatsApp, say, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, Bella out. Again. Go listen. So people when they say for WhatsApp say, who be this Bella? I'm gonna go show that's where Poku says that. Mm. He listens to you well, ah, Bella and I used to sing this one again. Mm. After that, when you sing, I say yes, it's a more do very video. So we did it. I went to go and borrow shoe, <laughs> go and borrow jacket, and you know, all of these things. Oh, so by that time you never to package yourself. I know that time I don't come off us. I was no I was not home. Me okay. and my mom don't get issue with say because of the music, sure. Because of the music, mm. like I'm not doing well. I still do any half for house, mm. you know. You don't reach, you know, say you don't reach one stage where you say you don't feel like say your mom. You cast the move. I cast the move, and she, she's a woman, she's your mother. She mm. can't understand to that extent. She can't yes. see your dreams. Yes. She can only wish you what she wants you to be. Mm. You understand that? All she was saying that she had lost school. But what I'm saying is one, one big old. man. I did see one big man. I see Dango take myself. One billionaire we get on there goes west. Leave this school first because there's something in this music where we mm. say, but at the point we have this issue. That, okay, I left her because at the same time, it's a, I'm a problem for her and uh, she's also a problem for me. Yes. I can't allow my yes. mom to be thinking that, come on, do you want more? You know, she just wake up, see, you know, they're happy. I just prefer me can leave house. Mm. Then I went to stay with my friend, Lati. Lati? Yeah, Lati. So I borrowed money from Lati. I go and buy Lati. So I also, for six months, I didn't get money. <laughs> Stop. So you are getting the story. <laughs> so you are Ooh, getting I don't story. get her now. So I left home to my friend's hostel. I was staying there. So and that one, be like, oh, so you moved into school? Yeah, he's not in in the school. Like he's outside the school. Okay, okay. So outside school, of course, we live in the school. My mom is a staff, so we have staff oh, quarters. Right, so I live right. in the staff quarters with my mom. Okay. So I'm not even comfortable in the environment because everybody that knows me know my mom. So anything I do in school, they go report. They they always come back to my mom that ah she be your mom, can you come here? She be your mom, can you come? So I'm not even comfortable in the quarters in our mm. housing residence. I'm mm. not comfortable as who I want to be. So I just mm. left. Yeah, okay. So I went to stay with Lati. As things they go on, I borrowed money. Oh yeah. They don't give you food money, but I mean, I guess more change. I buy like you, but I buy like you, okay, I go get money. Mm. Though, I guess more money, but I lavish. At that time, what you use until buy? Ah. But oh. were you putting the money in the music? Both. Okay. Money in the music and money into high life. Mm. High life. Because you don't need blues, most people, so you need to maintain the vibe. <laughs> so, you know, the lifestyle thing, you, mm. you know, if you pay me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you know, understand. So I borrowed money. I hustled. You know, the normal street way, and you mm. know, I didn't get. And at that point, I felt God was telling me something that you, you need to focus. You need to focus on this thing you are doing because mm-hmm. normal me. Even when I never buy like P, I I collect small, small hundred dollars, two hundred. Mm. But when I come buy big lappy, where are the boys? Nothing come Nothing come out. You know? Then, with the pain, I just get small studio session, free studio session. I just spoke my mind like you. Blah, 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 blah. And before I knew to dance, it entered. Which one be that one? Hmm? We think we enter? I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was At the same time, with this thing, they happen. I'm going to tell her, me, say, she don't get belly. My girlfriend at that time. Mm. Them say don't go get belay. Oh, she get belay. Where I no get ass. Ah, <laughs> you won't suffer the picking. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got to the picking? Ah. Uh, oh. 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 Okay. See with stay. Whoa. Yeah. So it was so funny for me then, and mm. I myself, I felt I was going astray. Like I was losing it. Mm. You understand? I was actually mentally sick. Like. Everybody go don't sleep. 3 a.m. I go go outside to sit down. They think. They smoke cigars. I feel smoke that cigar enter eight for money, I swear. Where people go, they dress. They can't go, they can't go, bro. I still did. But you know the go class? Hmm? You know they go class that time? Class don't tire me. Bruh. Because normally the school no balance again. Mm. So even if I go to class, bruh, I just they waste my time. Because even my grade won't meet up. So when did music start, start picking up in school? I, I sang Was Vision 2020 the first song that no, blew you in school? No, I had like two songs in school before mm. Vision 2020. I have this song, Oluomo. I have this song, No Mind Them. So by that Oluomo and No Mind Them, Olu- don't turn to university yeah, I don't, superstar. I don't, I, for school, for my department for faculty, I don't stay stable. They don't know, see, you they try. Mm. You understand? You just have that, you know, that street that, cred. That street cred that, okay, anywhere on the streets you want to perform, they go. They go no see that mm. this boy did it. Are you popular for like Ojo area? And... Yeah, 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 I was popular in Nokoko. Okoko. Oh, you understand? That's where my studio is. Mm. So before my song gets to Ojo, it's first cast in Nokoko. Did you open a studio? I didn't open a studio. Oh. Where I used to record. Mm. You understand? It's in Okoko. Okay. Where Nokoko and Ojo is more, they are close. Like, yeah. It's just like a 10 minutes walk. Yeah. You know? Okoko, Alaba, then Ojo. Alaba mm. is in the middle of Okoko and Ojo. Mm. You understand? So, you know, at the point I didn't even have a phone again. Ah. The phone where they used do pa pa pa. You don't you don't see phone where they use tongue on. They test the battery. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was at the edge of like just giving up. Mm. When this thing happened, I was like, okay. So and the connect- was there to give the ginger. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. That's why you know I respect him a lot. I was gonna so. ask about the poker relationship. Yeah, Did yeah. the poker make the Olamide connection? Yeah. Was he the one? Because if he didn't post, Olamide will say it. Mm. Poco had that. Like um he had the um, um visibility that time, you know, you know, people mm. his 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 um page was engaging and yes. so much people yeah. are going to his yeah. page. But I do saw it from his page and mm. we messaged Poku that I should come and you know give a location and all of these things. And me and Poku and one of my guy like that, we went there and you know, he made the you know, it's like I was I was I was crying. My mom gonna know, she don't believe him. Cause you saw the video, you say everything. Ah. Also, yeah. when you were doing the, when he was, you don't believe saying good features, so you, uh, you just they cry. Bro, allow me, I did, you allow me, they did, you don't know, know the range mm. between me and allow me, they mm. It's like 10 years away. You know, that you don't understand. So you don't be like, say, Chris Brown feature T high. Bro, I be T high feature Chris Brown. You mm. don't know the range. Mm. It's too far, as in, the, mm. you, you know, fit income. Mm. As at that time, I feel the reason Daniel's. But no be bad, <laughs> bro. Bro, no be bad, bro. So I was very happy. Like, I was so emotional. I was mm. crying. Bro. No freestyle, I don't do that. I don't do freestyle. They go inside. Mm. But I do see the bad. They look, they look, they look. They tell me, because this boy, <laughs> this boy, man, I will have well. <laughs> but, you know, I was so grateful. And, you know, mm. shout out to Olamide for that. And, you know, shout out to from Olamide. now to you, from, from dear to now, you know, I'm mm. still Bella Shimona. I'm still where I am. And, so, know. I mean, once. Olamide touched you, you went viral, yeah. you started blowing. Yeah. So you, you officially became a working artist who had to start recording. Yeah. yeah, I started recording like, now I started getting free sessions. Right. You understand? So yeah. I, I get to record more. Mm. You understand that, you know. I get to link up with people bro, because, okay, if they see me, no be this boy, we mm. sing with Olamide. So mm. I got more recognition. Yeah. And I got like, better people that really wants to work, not, ah, the sweet mm. or the song sweet. Mm. 
you understand? I'm 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 past that level as at that time and you know So I, so by that time like you how did you now stay grounded knowing that you know what let's say this music you know the, the cards only fall in the right places. So I stayed I grounded just in the sense that what because that I don't want to go back. Do you understand? I know school is not really working like that. Mm-hmm. And this music when one don't don't bam hey the guys the hurt they go. Mm. You understand? I guess they do my best. I understand. At the same time, I was very self-conscious of, you know, people just using me and, you know, just using me or going to sign any paper that will mm. not favor me and all of these things. You understand that? So, so God be the glory, I'm an independent artist. Exactly. I was going to come to that. Like, God, I mean, by that feature, right, you were not in people's faces. Mm-hmm. So nobody signed you. Nobody tried to sign you. At the point, I have this label, but they are not doing well to my face. Like, they are just like more of like support. They are not just doing that label thing. Like mm. just like I want to shoot video, label bring five hundred thousand. Me, I go go find five hundred thousand. Then that's not a label. Yeah. That's more like a partnership. Right. So you know, and at the point I feel like yo, I go go find five hundred. You go find five hundred. But when money come, you, you go, go take it. the larger part. Ah, it's not working. Come on, it can't work. You understand? When promotion come, me I go go find promotion money. But when share money come, you go collect 70 million, go collect 30. It can't ah. work. So, bro, I just feel like, after a year, I feel like, no. Oh, you after, signed for just a year? Yeah. I signed yes. for three years. And I did just a year. And I was so, like, yo, I can't do this anymore. I got a lawyer. I cleared myself. I paid some amount of money, mm-hmm. like about 20 million. Jesus and, Christ. <laughs> That's where they collect money from, artists. Ah. Me, you, my own, my own just cast. I was I was so lucky. I was so like me myself. I day so close that you go hardly know if I know talk. I paid and you know I'm happy. I mm-hmm. saw a tweet from Whiskey. Um, let me read the tweet. <laughs> it said, "One day I'm gonna sit you all down and explain how important Bella Shmoda's voice is in the music in mm-hmm. African music. What is what's the dynamic of you and Whiskey relationship? What do you think about this tweet? This tweet. Mm. Uh, how did you feel when you saw the tweet? <laughs> well, I feel I feel recognized. Mm. More better recognized. Because you're not saying we don't carry talk. So for mm. him to Me self, I know they carry talk. I bet <laughs> we, we got we our two know they carry talk. So, yeah. you know, I feel good and I feel I have to do more. Yeah. Like you said, I have to prove it. I think I think you have really grown a lot. Like I think you have really grown from Bella that was always on the blogs and I, you had a time where you, there was a space where we were not hearing anything from you, then then Philo came. But, like, what is that? Tell me that space. In that it, what happened to you that you grew so fast? Like, I've watched other interviews of you talking about yourself. Mm-hmm. What prompted that growth quickly? Bigger vision. <laughs> Bigger vision, you know? Impactful, impactful life. Yes. A meaningful life. You understand? Um, a life um, people can point to and be like, yo, this one self, if you may, if, if, mm. if you copy this one, mm. <laughs> this one can be your mentor. Cause fine, yeah. Um, me personally, when I see myself on blogs, I was like, for what? I want to know if it's for something reasonable or nonsense. Mm. Mm. I don't want nonsense in my life. Mm. You know, if you want to say my name on any blogs, I want to see. You know, I want to see something that will inspire Formation people. Worth, yeah, use something worthy. You know, something that will inspire people, something that will make, you know, other generations want to like, emulate. not nonsense that eh, we better found in eh, somewhere drunk. No, no, no. That's not helping me. That is not yeah. helping my family. That's not helping the money that is coming, mm. the future money. You understand? And I just have to grow. Speaking of cutting off, um, I I was watching Cotty's, um interview with you and and you mentioned friendships yeah <laughs> what re- why did you come to a realization that you need to cut off some for some from people because you mentioned that you you had a lot of friends you had a lot of you can, people you, you can't take everybody up that's the first thing <laughs> you can't take everybody up you understand how do you mean you can't take everybody? like what these friendships weigh you down because and I you know there's a saying that twenty friends can twenty friends can play for twenty years exactly. together. What what was it about these your friendships that you just you just said you know what? I guess ah, let some people go. Too much friends, you know. They will take from you. Now you the hot. Mm. Now you get the thing. Mm. Now you the. Everybody wants to use you. 
at some point. Everybody wants to take, take, take. Imagine 10, 20 friends taking from you. What thing will you mean for your own body? Mm. You understand? So it's not that there's a bad energy or there's a hate yeah. or anything, but you know, just for yourself, at least you have to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> at the point, the 20 friends no good idea, but they don't take from you, they don't go. So what self preservation. Be your game? So self preservation. Mm. After like, <laughs> nobody good idea for you. Now you good deal. True. Adulthood do not be play. It's crazy, bro. What's the biggest <laughs> lifestyle change that you experienced as Bella mother? Like coming into your own as a popular artist who has now become lifestyle change. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think when I went to America, mm. I was more wiser. How do you mean? I've been to a few countries. <laughs> but America get this vibe with this guy. <laughs> you know, go on, go back. Oh. My brother, tell me about anywhere abroad. <laughs> anywhere but Nigeria. You understand? I'm not going to go back. It's not, it's not that going back to Nigeria or something, but you know, you, you, you see more, more of civilization. You mm. see how, how, how far this technology has gone and all of these things. And you feel like, you know, I can't be left behind. Mm. Even in my music. You understand? Mm. I have to be like, um, I have to be um, current, like right, updated right. in everything I'm saying. So the exposure helps. So the, mm. You understand? The exposure helps and I feel, you know, it changed my, my thinking. Mm. It changed my thoughts. It changed how I see things. Yeah. You understand? Because you also, do you also interact with other like foreign artists and so how do we? Yeah, I interacted with you. Mm. And you know, you do things differently. Mm-hmm. And you know, I learned, and I'm still learning. Yeah, was that where you got your skirt inspiration from? Because it's your, your fashion no, I've sense. Always been, me life. I've always been a fashionista. I love My it. mom was a tailor before she became right. a teacher. I, I also went to a tailoring school before becoming a Oh, you mother. go to tailoring school? Yeah, now. You, did you ever sew and like? Yes, now. In school? I saw. We had a car, they pull up and down for streets. Oh, you go did you make clothes for people? Yes, now. Go to buy material for Alaba. Ah. Yeah, when I was done with secondary school, mm-hmm. I didn't get admission instantly. Mm-hmm. So my mommy put me in a tailoring school. So yeah. I learned fashion for about a year and a half before I could get another admission to Lasso. <laughs> you understand? So I learned tailoring. So from there, I could see the light of fashion. I could look. I think with just five naira clothes, I can look better. Ah, mad. So like right now, you feel so full outfit of person. I feel so you, hundred percent. I feel so happy. Mm. <laughs> so but, but, so does it affect how your choices your fashion choices yeah it's affected it because some new go come show up carry and carry come <laughs> see they want so they want so suits with and carry go lose say but actually that's fashion that's yeah. where it was coming from I didn't yeah. see that way when I was in school they would come say they want to use and carry so suits yeah mm. mm, and carry so suits but then so at the point I I I I I I get to learn that fashion is creativity. Mm-hmm. It's not about how it mm. seems or, or how it's supposed to look. Yes. No. Music is not supposed to sound somehow yeah. or in a particular way. So it's fashion. But before your album, let's talk about Philo. Feel mm-hmm. is one of my favorite songs right now. I've played it. I played it until I don't know if my the CD go crack for my <laughs> Spotify. But um, was Omale always the idea? Always the person that you wanted to put on the on the? No, feature it was. Or? It was. It was never in the picture. Mm. It was we have we have a lot of songs. Yeah, that have, we have recorded together before Philo, and you know, I recorded this song fully already. Understand? It was done already. So. It goes back from his North America tour. So we just texted him, like, Bella, where are you there? I'm going to see that. I don't miss you. I said, okay, mm. I will come. So I went to his hotel apartment and uh, I saw him. He was playing some music to me, like, okay, oh, these are fresh stuff. He's mm. fresh featuring from outside country. I was like, I get this song, go. She go, yeah. Um. <laughs> then he heard it and was like, ah, I like this song, go. I beg, make a jump on her. I, I said, love it. You like um, you know me, oh, me I want give this one on my own, on my own jackpot for the album. Oh, so you don't want to feature anybody before? I don't want to feature anybody before. Ah, but you part sweet, so mm? that song go. Yeah, it's sweet. Mm-hmm. So I'm just telling you the story. So the, the song was the filler was like my jackpot on yeah, the international album. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I was like, 
You like him, you know, like, make I know. If you go do one, don't waste my time. If you no go do one, make I know. Say, ah, I swear, Bella, I swear. I go do this one. I like this one. Okay, fine. I, I, I made a space for him. Mm. I don't know. Less than a week, he sent his verse. We mastered and we recorded and, you know, and listened. He actually did it twice. He sent mm. the first one. He was like, do I, did I like it? I didn't like it so much, but I said, ah, it's okay. But, you know, as a guy, man, he knew that. Yeah. I didn't like it so much. So he went back and did, you know, made it better. And I loved it. And we do a bit and it was doing well. Six so me and my relationship is a bromance, like, yeah, we are so good. We are, we are, we are yeah. in good terms, no problem. We don't, we are just chilling. Anytime we meet, we go record, we mm. go play, laugh, you know, and we are more like family, like brothers, man. That's good. Exactly. But wh- why did it take you so long to drop an album? I mean, you have been in the game like about over three years. Were you scared or you just were taking your time to drop an I album? I wasn't scared. I was just, you know, I just want to be particular about whatever I want to drop. And yeah. I was working on my own sound. A sound that you can call Belashmana sound. Right. That nobody can, you know, anybody that tamper with it, they will know. It's Bella's yeah, still in Bella's yeah. sound. Exactly. Yeah. I was trying to, you know, trying to create my own, my own path, my own way on whatever I'm doing, and that's what the album speaks. You understand? And the album, like our attention, we always keep coming for me, because I will keep on being consistent. You understand? I will keep on being consistent because mm. I'm creating my own wave, my own path, my own journey. Mm. I'm not just doing music because everybody's blah 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 blah. Mm. Everybody's doing. Uh, you don't throw my piano, everybody. Yeah. In fact, the only my piano I have in the whole of my career, I don't think it's more than two. I have this back to back with Rezi and I have Alelu. Mm. I don't jump into things like that. I know what I want to create. But that's a very powerful place to be as a creative. Yeah. And I was gonna that was gonna lead me to the next question in terms of like consistency because there's so much demand for a hit. Like right now, everybody wants to be on top hundred. Every Tom Dick and Nikichi has a song that TikTok has probably blown. Is there no pressure? Don't you feel anxiety to drop your next hit? Like, are you not worried that you know what? I know Philo done the hot. The musician so. is different from an artist. Please explain to me what's the difference. Artists can just sing. Hmm. Artists not trained. Something they go, you don't put on the hot. Musician. It's different. Fela is a musician. Mm. Washia Indi is mm. a musician. Pasuma is a musician. You understand? Bonabo is a musician. Mm. He's not an artist. You understand? Angeli Kiju is a musician. Right. She's not an artist. So Bella Shimona is a musician. I'm not an artist. Mad. You understand? Artist is just someone that is known for singing. Right. It's different from someone that is known for doing music. Singing is different from musical. I can sing your song, go bra. Right. You go sing them, I go sing them. Mm. But creating your own sound, mm. being your own self, developing that new sound is the musician thing. That's very. That's a very powerful place to be mm-hmm. as a musician. And Bella Schmidt is a musician. I'm not an artist. I agree. I just don't do me. I just do sing. I don't sing. Mm. I don't sing for song's sake. I don't sing for it. Musicians don't sing for it. Mm. Musicians sing, they do music for uh, for impact. For longevity. For longevity. For, yeah. Exactly. So there are difference between a lot of us out there. So the goal <laughs> is to allow your sound outlast you. Outlast me. Yeah. The I'd goal is you. the goal is, you know, to be a pioneer of something. Mm. To be a legend in something. Afrobeat, we have fellas as a legend already. Mm. We need a new sound. You know, even if it's under sub Afrobeat, bro. Yeah. Someone will break it. Someone got start it. <laughs> and he's the only musician that can do it. An artist will keep, we always keep doing Afrobeat. Mm. A musician will change it. You see, we are still Africans, so you can call it Afro, but bro, it's another kind of Afro. Mm-hmm. And that's who Bella Shmona is. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. This is a good way to. Call it a day on TV table. But before you do, like, I mean, this, I want to ask some other questions, but mm-hmm. I like how you put this musician and artist thing. And if you're going to have any advice for artists who want to, or musicians 
who want to be like you eventually. What what advice do you have for them? Don't follow trend. Trend will go. Mm. Now you go, you may not. And trend will, will make you lose who you are. Yeah. Because trend will carry you one level, we be say. If that trend drops. Yeah. Bruh, you go drop. You go drop. Don't follow trend with mm. whatever you're doing. You know, there's a lot of pressure to not be trendy. Like, there's a lot of pressure to not jump on trends. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And that's why I shall we always be here forever. Right about now, we've come to my favorite segment of TVT Pod, powered by Lipting. It's called Spill the Tea. So I'm going to ask mm-hmm. you a few questions so you can spill. Um, the first one I have here, let me see. What did they prepare? What tea did they prepare for you today? You're always on cruise mood and you must have a lot of crazy experiences. What is the craziest experience you've ever done on your night out? On your night out? Maybe not a night out, just generally one of the craziest experiences where you could just look back and say, ah, Bella, you do that one, Sha. I was praying money when nobody did. Follow me. Ah, uh, sir. My motor did drive go. I just. <laughs> now, I mean, did nobody did not follow me. You know, it's different when people are saying, Bella, Bella, you want to spend money. You did a video on social media with it. I know, don't, I know even video. I just carried the money. They spray me money for mm. club. I just carried the money. They throw away for her side. Ah, just to feel her. Just to feel myself. I love the breeze. it. I didn't do like to Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this one says, you've sung about a couple of times about love. Have you ever been in love? I mean, right now, are you in love? Definitely everybody gets to love. You can't escape it. It's, it's nature. Love is nature. You can't escape it. So you can't expect because I'm not I'm an artist, I see a lot of girls mm. I won't love someone. No. Mm. Come on, I'm human. I'm human. I need someone too. I need someone personal. I need okay. I need someone to hold. You they whine me. I'm not whining you. Okay, well are you in love? That's the question I asked. That's what I'm telling you. Who <laughs> <laughs> you want a whine? So answer now. I'm asking you. Okay, answer. Everybody gets to love at a point in mm. time. In in his or her life. Mm. We have to love. Uh, yes, to love. Yes. So we are all in love. Well, are you? Are you okay? Someone. Answer the question. <laughs> you want to dodge them? <laughs> uh, Nobody gets to love. That's just no. It. But I, I mean, there's no time that's in your career where you just, as one girl, just hold you down. You just no. I mean, girls day, but mm-hmm. you just this girl. You just yeah, love. definitely, definitely. I have someone I love, mm. and you know, it's good. It's fine. It feels good. It does. Yeah, definitely. I can imagine. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, last one. Um, what was the last thing you bought on impulse and do you regret it? Do you impulse. just you just carry just buy? I just carry just buy. No, so you don't save money now. Mm. You don't turn mm. senior man now. So okay, just buy. You can't think can't wear because I don't carry buy where where. Mm. Just send it to me. Don't carry <laughs> but buy. I don't carry buy. Carry give. <laughs> you know, understand? <laughs> I carry buy. Carry dash. Ah, so, carry dash. That? Okay, tell me both carry dash and carry by. I don't know. I have a laptop and I bought them now. I don't need it. Mm. I had the phone and I bought it. Maybe it. I bought the iPhone 14 when it first come. And I dash person. The iPhone 14. And I see they use this 12. Mm. With my hand. Carry by, carry dash. Uh, it's money no longer. I'm telling you. The money no longer. Mm. But I just want to feel like, ah, it is hot now. Maybe, maybe no more. Come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the trending boy. He plays like a single boy. Because we can go buy a 14 dash person. Ah, I guess. I understand. TV so. I guess. I guess. Sleep. But anyway, thank you all for coming on my show. Um, I feel like you have a very interesting personality. I'm so happy to see how much you've grown over the years. Just even having this conversation shows that you've grown a lot. Um, thank you. Please, could you help me sign out on my show? I'll be the new born fella, storyteller, battery charger, baby partner. For my matter, you use carry matter. I know the matter, the matter no matter. What's up, everyone? This is Fine Boy Bella, and I'm chilling with T with Stay. God bless everyone for watching.